Doug and PA back another video. This one's from Good Morning Britain. It's titled, Should We Encourage Women to Have Kids Younger? Good, and let me say, Good Morning Britain is a treasure trove, a gift that keeps on gifting for channels like mine because Britain has become quite progressive. They're starting to get into the left kind of looniness, not quite like Canada or Australia, but they're getting there. And their news segments are starting to catch up to that craziness. Before we get into this video, like the video, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It shows that you support this channel. And let me know in the comments, do you think that women should be encouraged to have children younger? Should they wait till later? And put your reason why. We're going to get into this one and listen to what these ladies have to say. The rate of women in the UK giving birth over 40 has doubled in the past 30 years. One journalist has now even called for women to stop having babies in their 40s because of the mental, physical and emotional toll. Hmm. So, of course, anything with women, they have to talk about women's mental health and everything that they're going through. Although it's mental health and stress and toll about women are the ones who decide if babies are born. So, in my opinion, you can't really complain about something that you decided to do. What do you think? Do you think it's time to encourage women to, to conceive at a, a younger age, when they're in their 20s or 30s? Well, joining us to discuss it now is blogger Lucy Baker, who was 43 when she had her third child. 43 years old when she had her third child. 43. She says that she's a better and more patient parent now. And influencer Esther Falana, who had her daughter at 21 and says she wouldn't dream of having children over the age of 35. Well, why not? What's wrong with having a baby at 38, 39, 40? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's subjective, but I just feel like um, having my daughter young has given me a lot of, you know, experience in growing with her, you know, and learning her as a person as well as learning myself. Um, I have a great family network and support who have been very supportive of me um, because I believe it takes a village to raise a child. So a couple of things. One, I hate this whole... I'm going to have kids young so we can grow together stuff because you're supposed to be their parent, not their friend. And not only that, she's talking about a village. Single mothers are some of the most selfish people you're ever going to meet. And I'm going to assume that this black girl didn't have a, didn't marry the, the father of her children because I'm black and I can do that. Number one. And then two, I don't see a ring on her finger. One thing I wish that single mothers would do is if you're going to have a child, single mother, Ask your friends and family, are they ready to deal with what comes along with your decision? Because you're not doing it by yourself. Your friends and family are having a sacrifice for you when you have that child. Too many single mothers don't, don't have that conversation with their friends and family and they just put it all off on their village to pick up the slack. Um, I feel like as well, you get to grow with that child and understand them, especially with this new digital age that we're in, social media, you know. I well, you're not saying that someone who's 41, 42 doesn't understand social media. No, 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 I'm not you saying know. that, of no. course not. But I just feel like you grow with them and you get to understand them. And plus, because I'm not too far off her age, I understand her school life. I understand her environment. What, in a way that you wouldn't if you were in your mid-40s? I think my mum didn't, not, not as much as I, I that, did. Do you I think did. maybe that's a different generation? I think though, as, at as the same well as a different generation. I think I'm closer to her generation, so I understand, OK, all right, there's TikTok videos now. My daughter wants me to get me involved in TikTok videos. Now, I'm not saying someone that's 41 can't do that, but the energy that you have, you know, I'm 31 and I sometimes struggle to get up in the morning. Talk less of being 40. I don't know what it's going to be like. Yeah, she's right there, guys. I'm 42 years old, and it's a whole different ballgame rolling out of bed when you're 42 than when you're rolling out of bed when you're 31 or 32, guys. So all you young bucks, enjoy it while you can, because when you hit your 40s, it's all downhill from there. <laughs> Lucy, <laughs> I'm not sure. What do you make of that? <laughs> so I have done a TikTok, if we're going to think about that. There bit. I've go. done a TikTok Lucy, with my daughter. I, I mean, I was, I was pretty hopeless, but yeah. she was quite embarrassed. But, but I'm, I'm 47, so I had... She's 47 years old. I thought she was a lot older than that. She looks like she had a kid when she was older. She looks stressed and, yeah, maybe because she's British. I, I'm just going to say it. British women do not age well in my opinion, but that's just my bias. I had my last baby, I've got three children, I had my last baby at 43. Mm -hmm. I was very firmly in the geriatric kind of world, <laughs> um, some would say. But actually, I disagree with Esther because I feel like I'm in the best times of my life, really. I feel energetic, I feel confident. I think that's the thing, I'm more confident now I'm for, over 40. Um, 
I feel like I'm in my groove as a mother. I mean, I had my first at 34, so I wasn't young. Had it first at 34. I think they said the average age of marriage in Britain is 31 now. And so the, that's probably the average age of having kids in Britain is probably 34 if everyone's getting married at 31. I had no idea what I was doing. Now I'm a bit older, um, I'm more experienced. and I, A bit older. Huh. I've just got more life experience, I think, to, to kind of share yeah. with my I children. Mean, to... And what did she just say right there, guys? A whole lot of nothing. A lot of women, when you ask them how they feel about things, it's just all in circles, nothing. Declare a bit of an interest, because I did have my child at 39, almost 40. I'm sorry to stop this again. 39, that news anchor had her, her kid. 39 years old, guys. Ugh. Oh, wow. um, so I know, yeah. I, I, I mean, I think you, you're only 31, to be fair, at the moment, aren't you? So yeah. do you think you you know how you're going to you feel? Because for me, I, you know, I completely see the point there that Lucy's making about, you know, you, you being more patient, you having had more experience. Mm -hmm. I still, you know, I keep fit. I've got a lot of energy, despite think, getting up at this time in the morning. I think patience, again, is subjective <laughs> to each individual. Like, you might be young and still be patient and be old and not have that same patience. So I think as well, we also have to look at the health, you know, the health risks in, involved in, you know, leaving pregnancy later. From 35, you are, you're, you're deemed high-risk pregnancies. And you know, there's, you know, the risk and of... geriatric. Yeah, artificial. exactly. Yeah. And, you know, you've got, you know, high risk of miscarriages, you know, premature births, you know. And so we have to look at all of those circumstances well, I, yeah. as well. So this is a hot take here. But I think one of the reasons why we've seen an uptick in certain um, conditions in children is because women are having kids later and their eggs are all dried up and stuff. That's just me. Uh, let me know if you guys agree or disagree, but that's one of the hot takes on my channel. Um, I might do a video looking into it, but that's just what I believe. Well, there is a point about fertility as well. Yeah. Lucy. And if, those, if, if women choose to leave it And later. as well as that, in this current living crisis that we're living in, not everyone's going to have the, the financial support to be able to go and get IVF if, you know, they're naturally not unable to mm. conceive. I think those are fringe time. arguments, though. I, I just think... Fringe arguments? You guys know that the average cost of IVF is about $18,000? I did a story on my channel where this guy and his wife did nine rounds of IVF and, and paid $200,000. He was from Britain, and they had to rob... He, he wanted to rob banks to pay the money off. So... Fringe nothing, buddy. You know, not all of them have the same amount of money that news anchors on Good Morning Britain has. <laughs> Fundamentally, yeah. you're, you're just completely wrong. I mean, I, I declare an interest as well. I do. I mean, you're, we're here to, we're here to debate it. I'm not, not being rude. I just think you're yeah, wrong. I mean, You've got I mean, a bit I, of work to convince yeah, Richard. Yeah, I think I, it's I, fair to say. Because I can declare an interest as well. Because my wife had our last child, Chloe, when she was 39. I okay. was nursing her at 40. And that was in 1987. Mm -hmm. And the following year, mm -hmm. uh, Judy and I launched This Morning. Um, okay. which was a big deal and caught, took a lot of energy. She had plenty of energy mm -hmm. to, 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 to do a major network new show, getting up early every morning mm -hmm. and then coming home and, and looking after But again, again, that's why I did, I did explain that it's subjective. Not everyone, yes. you know, is going to feel that. But I'm saying, for me at 31, with the way my life is, I'm a full-time mother, you know, I work, I have my own business, you know, I am very hands-on with my daughter. So now push it to 41 and be able to do those same things. Also, I want to be involved in her life in terms of what she likes to do, her activities she plays football basketball tennis like there's a lot to be involved in so, so i couldn't imagine having that same i think at 41 my mum wanted to have more kids at 41 she didn't thank god she didn't I, because <laughs> it would have been us that would have been running around for the kids and and that's exactly what i was talking about earlier guys i'm glad she made that point because older parents will parents rely on their village but especially when they get older and i have you know what? I've met women who were the youngest daughter of their family who didn't want kids when they got older because they spent so much time raising their siblings when they were younger. It's a real thing. I remember. Well, I but then what... you made that point. But Linda's got in touch here to say, I find it bizarre people discuss it's too old to have children at 48 when a lot of younger parents pass their children on to grandparents. Oh. Exactly. Oh. When you go no, to work. No, and you were talking about the fact yeah. it takes a village to, to bring them up. That's so why... you obviously rely on, yeah, the... on other members of the family exactly. to be able to do but, it. And this is why I was going to say as well, like, I'm grateful that I had my child young because as well, my mum has been heavily involved. My village has been heavily involved. If I'd l waited later, I don't know if my mum would be able to be as involved as she is. It she is. may not be able to run around across the park yeah. to go and grab her granddaughter. 
you are. My parents are nearly you know? 80. They're very much involved in my life and my children's life. They've just been travelling for three months, so they've got loads of energy. Maybe, you know, maybe it runs in my family that my, my um, you know, we've got more energy later on in life. I don't know. But mm -hmm. I do disagree with the fact that people are going to be more tired when they're older. I, I... A couple of 80-year-olds running around after little children. God, women are so much cap, dude. Come on. Oh, I think, I think, I don't think so. No, I, I mean, think, I was, I think, I think you're are. tired anyway when you have I kids. Think we, you yeah, you are. Yeah. I had my first baby at 34. It, yeah, I was there tired. There are certain demands at whatever age. I think you're going to be yeah. tired whatever age, aren't you? What, yeah. night feeds and, you know, getting yeah. up at four I in the morning. I think motherhood is yeah. tiring, full, full stop. stop. I think yeah. whether you're 21 mm -hmm. or 41, it does, but actually, it does take its toll. But when you're older, it's less about other things. You know, I mean, for a sense, but if you're younger, sometimes you've got competing things in your life. You might want to be going out with friends at the same See, time. See, I got all the partying out of the way before I had my children. Mm. I lived in London, 20s and 30s, mm. had a great time, I put it that way. I and just then... think, and I don't include you in this, because your arguments are, are logical and rational, and, you mm. know, I, I disagree with them, but, but you know, you, you, you're making them on a rational basis. I do think, though, that the general thrust of disapproval at women mm. in their 40s, Hilary Swank, 48, having babies, yeah. it's something to do with this awful judgmentalism that, that, that women have to put up with. Yeah. Yeah. It very often comes yeah, from yeah. other women as well. You're and so right. Men... So I was going to call this guy a simp until he said that judgment comes from other women, because it does. Women judge each other more than anybody else about everything. And they try to paint men to be the judgmental ones. But women are the most vocal about it. And they judge women more than anything on this planet. Especially when it comes to issues like motherhood, body autonomy. Women are the ones that will tear down other women for the, that type of stuff. You're so right. Children, uh, yeah, you know, think into about their, what, 50, 60, 70? Yeah, when yeah. I was pregnant at 42, I told people and everyone said... <gasps> Have you, I thought you'd. I thought you'd had enough. Did you know you're going to be 47 when the baby starts school? I thought you were tired of nappies, and it all came from women. Yeah. And interestingly, the article in the paper yesterday or the day before saying that women should stop having babies over the age of 40. Um, I don't think it helps written because again, it was written by a woman. Um, other women judge other women, and I started the blog Geriatric Mum because I wanted to to st to. to Help people understand that judgment is not helpful. Yeah. And just to add no, to that no, as well. She has a blog called Geriatric Mom. Imagine what's written on that blog. We're going to stay far away from that one, guys. We are not covering that on this channel because we already know what it is. Yeah, just to add on to that, I think it's, again, we shouldn't, there isn't a time scale of when it's best to have a child. No. You know, I think it, you should have it when it's right for you. Financially, you know, circumstances, a lot of people wait to be in a financially mm. better circumstance to have children. Mm. Some people have children early because they have no choice. You know, they're put into a situation yeah. Yeah. where yeah. they're forced and they have to grow up. I just up. think sometimes so, you yeah. don't know. Last point. Sorry, yeah, you don't point, know yeah. what your life is going to be exactly. like. You don't yeah. know what your pregnancies are going to be like. Mm -hmm. I had problems with my 30s. I had a baby at 37. It was a, pro a problematic pregnancy. The one I had at 43 was beautiful and oh. I enjoyed and every easy. second of it. And I love yeah. being a mum now I'm older as yeah. well. I'm and I have 47, to say, just coming back so... to, the, to the, grand, the grandparent thing, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm a grandfather now. Yeah. Um, I love it. And, 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 and one of the reasons I love it is that it reconnects me with what it was like to be a, a much younger man looking after little children. Yes, um, I love it, that. You, yeah. you revisit your youth, actually. But what I would say yeah. for people, and speaking for someone who had fertility difficulties, I didn't set out to have a baby at the age of 39. I would have it much rather time. have had a baby sooner. Mm -hmm. But it is important if it's, you know, something that's a big deal to you, please don't leave it too, too late, late because you just don't know what you're saying. You don't know what yeah. you're Don't plan yeah. and think, yeah. oh, great, I can leave yeah. it until I'm 40. I don't think wow, she said something sensible too. You know, this whole, I'm going to freeze my eggs. You just know that a frozen egg only has an 8% chance of leading to a birth. If you're, um, 90% uh, of your eggs are gone by the time you're 30, and if you hit 35, I think you only have like a 15% chance of getting pregnant, and 40 is 10% or less, and it goes down each year after that. You can because you may plan. not be able to have a baby. You can never plan to have a baby. You know, you don't know what your situation is and your life circumstances okay. are. No. Go for it if you want to. All there right. There we go. Thank you for Thank you both. So I think that the 31 year old totally backed down to the mob because they didn't really agree with her. But I think that women should have kids when they're younger. Decide if you want to be a mom and a wife young and move accordingly. Because women's biology is not going to change at all. Okay. These 39, 44, 39, 41, 42 year old women you know, doing all this science and sorcery to have kids, especially the ones that do it by themselves. That's not it. Make sure to let me know what you think, like, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.